Hi, this is Dave from Bay Stencil. Let's learn how to make and use stencils. A stencil is a mask that you lay down before painting, and after you paint, the pattern of the mask shows through. I'll walk you through the basics of stenciling, how they work, what makes a good stencil, and tell you everything you'll need before you get started. Then I'll take you through all the steps. First, capturing or finding your image. Second, using base stencil to convert your image to a stencil. Third, cutting the stencil. And finally, fourth, painting your stencil. Before we do that though, I need to tell you what's in store if you end up cutting and using your own stencil. In order to get a stenciled image onto a surface, you're going to need something to use as your stencil material, like stiff cardstock that is at least an inch bigger on every side than the image you want to lay down. You're going to need some paint too, probably spray paint. To cut the stencil, you'll need to go one of three routes. You can use a sharp new X-Acto blade or a craft cutter, or a laser cutter. A pocket knife or kitchen knife is just not going to cut it. If you go the route of the X-Acto knife, expect that the cutting step is going to take some time, and if you make a mistake, it's pretty much game over. But it's old school, and doing it will make you appreciate how awesome the computer-driven cutters really are. Using a craft cutter or laser cutter takes some time to get up to speed, but once you know the drill, you can make new stencils really quick and really cheap. You'll need a few other things that you probably have lying around like a digital camera or iPhone, plus a pair of latex gloves comes in really handy while you're painting. 